Hi everyone, this is Henry Shi. I'm a program manager from Azure Purview team. In this demo, I will walk through some basic steps to register and scan Azure Blob Storage in Azure Purview. Here are some prerequisites. First, you will need an Azure account with an active subscription. Second, you will need an active Purview resource, basically a Purview account. Third, you will need to be a data source administrator and a data reader to register a source and manage it in the Purview Studio. Before you can perform a scan, you need to configure the authentication method in the Azure Blob Storage account. There are different types of authentication methods supported. Managed identity, account key, and a service principle. In this demo, we will use managed identity for Purview to perform the scams. A managed identity is created automatically in Azure AD tenant as soon as the Azure Purview account is created. Let's start the demo. To register Azure Blob Storage as a source in Azure Purview data map, let's first open the data map view. This is a newly created Purview account. So in the data map, there's only loot collection appears. Let's click on the register button on the root collection. Here you can see there are many types of sources supported. Let's find Azure Blob Storage, click on it, and click Continue. You can provide a name for the source. For example, let's name it Azure Blob Demo and select the Azure Blob Storage account you're going to use and click on the register. Now you will see there's a new source that's being registered in the data map. Before you start a new scan, let's configure the authentication method for the managed identity of the Purview account. Let's switch to the Azure Blob Storage. In the management portal for the Azure Blob Storage, let's click on the access control and click on the add row assignment to find the right row to assign to the managed identity for Purview. Here you can see there are many building roles for the Azure Blob Storage account. Let's find the Storage Blob Data Reader, select it, and click on the Next. Then we click on the Managed Identity, select Members, and input the Azure Purview account we use in this demo. So here we have selected a managed, managed identity for the Purview account. Click on select. And next, we'll click on the review and assign. So just a few seconds, we have assigned a role for the managed identity of the Purview account. Let's switch back to the Azure Purview Studio. Now we have configured the authentication method for Azure Blob Storage for the Purview Managed Identity. So we can start a new scan. So on the source node, let's click on the new scan. You can give a name for the scan and uh, just use the default integration runtime. So the default integration runtime is used to scan Azure data source and public network. Let's create, click on the credential. Here we select the managed identity and then click on the continue. Before continue, on the bottom right, you can find there's a button, Test Connection. 
click on it. You can, you can verify the credential and make sure it was all right. Then we will click on the continue. In this step, you can scope your scan. Here you can see, you can select different containers for Azure Blob storage account. Here, we want to perform a full scan and directly we will click on the continue. In this step, you can select a scan rule set. Here we have a default scan rule set called Azure Storage. Let's click on the few details to check what's included in the Azure Storage scan rule set. Here you can see in your score scan rule set, basically it defines what which file types it's going to use for schema extraction and also classification, and which classification rules will be applied during the scanning. In Azure Purview, there are over 200 classification rules built in and they help you to identify the patterns in the data columns and do the automatically tagging. Let's click on OK. You can click on the new scan rule set to define your new scan rule set. Here we just use the default scan rule set Azure Storage. Let's click on the Continue. In this step, you can schedule a scan. And in this demo, we just want a one-time scan. So let's select on the once and click on the Continue. Let's click on the Save and Run. So there's a scan job started in the background. Let's click on the view details and the source node. In the detail field page, you will see there's a scan job started and you can check the status. And you can click on the refresh to check the latest status for the job. Okay, now the scan job has completed. We can see during the scan, there are six assets discovered and uh, classification rules applied on two assets. So let's switch to the data catalog view and click on browse assets. Click on the Contoso, the root collection. Here we can see the assets scanned from the Azure Blob storage. Let's click on one of the CSV files. And you can see from the schema, some of the data columns have been automatically identified with the classification rules. So we have successfully finished the scan from Azure Blob storage. Thank you.